So are we live? Good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, a small introduction, my name is Andrea Mata. I am a psychology teacher and the college guidance counselor at TRIO World Academy. And today morning, we are coming to you live to talk to you about the IGCSC curriculum and what uh, is special about TRIO World Academy. So welcome all of you. Um, uh, while we're here, I want to um, um, you know, say hello and also to let you know that all your questions, any comments, we welcome them. We welcome your questions. We welcome your comments. I am joined here today by Mr. Isaac uh, Mahera. He is the high school coordinator and the coordinator for the IGCSC program. So any questions you have, we are uh, fully equipped to answer them. So um, let us begin. Right, as you can see, we have a very, very pretty campus. So welcome everyone to the IGCSC virtual open house for students and parents interested in um, the IGCSC program for grade nine at Trio World Academy. Um, our agenda today is, first of all, to talk to you about our beautiful school. We're going to talk to you about the IGCSC program. Uh, we're going to focus a little bit on that big shift, that big move, uh, you know, moving from middle to high school. We're going to talk about, you know, committing and choosing a stream that you would be interested uh, in. We're going to be talking about the subject blocks that we offer at Trio World Academy um, and how you would be assessed in those subjects. We're also going to talk a little bit about the ICE qualifications. And uh, last of all, we're going to be talking to those parents out there. I know that your children are growing up. Sometimes they're a little confusing and especially so uh, at a time like this when um, you know, kids are home all the time. So yes, some tips for parents. Okay, so first of all, let me introduce the school. We are a Bangalore-based international school established in 2007. Uh, we are an authorized IB World School with over 12 years of expertise in education, research, and design. Okay, our mission is to create and nurture individuals um, uh, you know, who have knowledge and leadership and who have fortitude to stand up to the challenges this world offers. And we know a lot about what those challenges offered just this very year. Our mission is to provide an extraordinary environment. And you can see not only do we have uh, a beautiful campus, but we have some outstanding individuals, teachers and staff together uh, that make for an awesome learning and bonding experience all around development to create um, world-class leaders. Okay, uh, what does TRIO mean? Now, uh, we specifically chose this name because it signifies that synergy which, come, which happens when three of the most important um, uh, entities that impact a child life come together. We're talking about the home, which is made up of parents and family members, the school, which is teachers and, you know, your classmates, and of course the society and the community. These are people who have a very significant impact of, on your child. So when uh, these three to come together, it provides the ideal learning environment for your child. Our core values, okay, the TRIO philosophy combines global learning with time-tested values. We believe that discipline, academic excellence, and service all combine to form excellent, uh, excellent leaders. These are values that are embedded in the heart of every activity that we do. Um, so one of the most important things about TRIO World Academy is, of course, child safety. Now, keeping our students and our staff uh, safe is our highest priority. 
And, um, you know, how do we do that? So first of all, our campus has 200 plus CCTV cameras across the campus, okay? Uh, we have 25 plus female guards and attendants in all important locations. That means in corridors, in washrooms, in open areas. Our children are never left unsupervised, okay? Um, uh, we have an excellent fleet of buses, okay? All our buses have two CCT cameras, uh, CCTV cameras on each bus. They are outfitted with uh, GPS, first aid kits, speed governors, and of course, our lovely aunties who, you know, ensure that your child uh, reaches home safely. Um, uh, everyone coming into the campus has, first of all, the staff and the teachers have a criminal uh, background verification. All our employees go through this process. Um, visitors who come in go through a three-tier visitor verification process. And most important of all, you know, we have very stringent anti-bully policies in place. Um, besides safety, another very important aspect of our school is to ensure that our children are active and uh, have access to a lot of uh, activities. Uh, we work together with Spotify, um, you know, which is a professionally managed uh, team to provide the best coaching and training for our young students, okay? Students can choose from a variety of sports activities, you know, wall climbing, football, cricket, basketball, skating. We have an excellent um, uh, skating rink, okay? Uh, taekwondo is offered by Master Choi Sung Wu. He is a decorated uh, five dan black belt practitioner. And of course, um, uh, TRIO has tied up with Barker Academy to provide excellent uh, football training. So our children have the very, very best of activities to offer. Um, facilities at TRIO are excellent too. I was talking about our very safe and well-connected fleet of buses. All of them, as I mentioned, are fitted with speed governors, seat, individual seat belts for the children, fire extinguishers, first aid boxes. We have an in-house kitchen um, and a cafeteria which provides um, food for um, you know, our staff and children three to four times a day. They get a breakfast, a nutritious breakfast. When they come into school, they have a snack even before they leave uh, for home. And of course, uh, all these meals are freshly prepared every day. Um, you know, uh, and usually we have, I look forward to a uh, Chinese meal, sometimes it's continental, usually there is an English uh, or continental um, uh, preference for whoever wants it. We have an in-house infirmary, okay, there is a four-bed infirmary available in the school with a certified um, nurse who is available at all times and all of our staff members are trained to administer basic first aid and CPR. Moving on, um, the next thing that we have at Trio World Academy is our hostel or the boarding at Trio World Academy. Unfortunately it is only for boys at the moment uh, however, uh, we do have AC accommodation offered on full-time, weekly, or on a flexible basis. This is sometimes parents are traveling, children need to stay here, um, they need to keep uh, updated on their studies. So if you have somebody who needs to spend just a couple of days, they are welcome to join us. We have nutritious vegetarian and non-vegetarian Indian, Asian, and continental cuisine. Um, based on the needs of the uh, boarders, sometimes they have very special requirements or allergies which are catered to. Um, structure and discipline is very, very important at the boarding. Uh, we want to ensure that the students stay organized and up to date with their schoolwork. So all of them have a very structured and scheduled study time. Um, all their valuables, uh, you know, such as mobile phones and so on, are kept with the warden while they are in school and while they have 
uh, study time. But of course, it's not all work, uh, no play. Uh, weekends, um, uh, you know, they are escorted on many trips. Uh, they go out trekking. Sometimes if they need to go shopping to a mall, um, they are taken out. And, you know, sometimes it's just a dinner out, um, going out for a pizza because we've all worked very hard. So that is the boarding at Trail World Academy. Um, uh, moving on about our activities, um, one of the interesting things that we do at TRIO is usually every year, well, except for the last year, is we have an international trip. Uh, you remember we have, um, you know, uh, it's Think um, Global, Act Local, and um, Going uh, overseas is very much part of the curriculum and the exposure that we give to our students. So here you see um, some examples of a trip we did in 2019, where we went to Japan. We visited a number of universities, so children get a very good idea of what they can expect if they want to study overseas. Japan is opening up. They are offering a lot of courses in English language and it is a very very safe and wonderful place for your child to go to study. Uh, we also visited the, the Toyota plant but probably one of my most you know memorable experiences from that trip was our trip to our visit to uh, the Universal Studio. So yes, uh, that was a trip to Japan. Um, uh, in 2017, you can see our kids went across to Thailand. And uh, 2018, there was a trip to France where they participated in a UN conference, you know, uh, volunteered at a, a refugee camp. And of course, uh, visited a number of uh, very beautiful and interesting um, um, places in France. Um, uh, trips uh, within India are also um, done very frequently. In 2019, we had gone to Dandeli, uh, where the kids were able to go rafting, they did a lot of trekking, and uh, generally, you know, camping out under the stars, they had a super time. It was a wonderful experience. Um, in 2019, we had also arranged a trip to Humbi, and this was very, very interesting for art and history students. They were able to look at the very specific culture in Humbi and also indulge in a, a, a very beautiful art program. So. Uh, let's move on now. That was a little bit of an introduction to TRIO World Academy. And now I'm going to talk to you about the AGCFC program for grade 9 and 10. Please remember that we are live and we are looking forward to having your questions and comments. So please remember to post any questions that you may have. Um, I have, um, you know, Mr. Isaac, who is here with me, and we are ready to answer any, um, you know, doubts or uh, uh, that you could have. So first of all, let's look at the IGCSC uh, program. Um, uh, above all, it is recognized by the world's best universities and employers. Uh, this is a qualification that everyone sits up and looks at. It's a very uh, rigorous program and challenging, um, but so that kids who come out with it, um, people are aware that they have, uh, you know, um, embraced an entire cu curriculum. Uh, the Cambridge qualifications have a proven reputation for being really, really excellent preparation, uh, not only for higher secondary school, but in the long run for um, university, for employment and for life. Okay, uh, subject content is extremely structured and um, you know, the students focus on learning to apply knowledge and understanding new as well as familiar situations. They need uh, um, to really dig deep and understand what they are 
um, uh, you know, studying in a particular subject. Intellectual inquiry is very, very important. Um, we teach them during this program to be flexible and responsive to change. Uh, and we can see exactly why, you know, over this past year. But also knowledge is very dynamic. It changes something that we learned maybe even five years ago may now, uh, you know, be um, uh, very different. There, it, there are constantly new things being added uh, to the curriculum. So it is always very, very current. Okay, um, the IGCSE curriculum is also uh, <clears throat> renowned for being very culturally aware and very aligned with Indian values, not only Indian values, but the values of all cultures. Uh, the, the program can be molded to suit the requirements of our culture. Right. So one very, very big thing that happens when we move from high school, middle school into high school is uh, we now have to start committing to a, uh, a stream or a discipline that you would be interested in. Um, some students prefer to go down the science path. Um, many of them like to choose the humanities or a commerce path. So what is the right path for you to take? Well, when you come to Trio World Academy, that really is my job. It's to help you become aware of what you are good at, what your aptitudes are, and to set a good foundation, you know, for your studies going forward, uh, planning for the future. So how do we do that? Well, um, the first thing we do is look at you. Okay, we do a little bit of research. We do a little research program about you. I like to look and understand what is your learning style. We will look at your report cards. Um, we will gather information uh, from your teachers, past and present, and get a very honest feedback about what your strengths are, what your challenges are, what you need to work a little bit more for, right? Um, it's also very important at this time to talk to your parents and talk to your friends. Um, and maybe, you know, you have an aunt and uncle who's a doctor, who's an architect. Talk to them about different opportunities. Talk to them about their work. See if this is something that you could be interested in. Okay, uh, there are a lot of online platforms over there that help you look at career clusters and career paths. Um, many people come with the idea of studying medicine because they're very enamored with the profession, but maybe being a doctor is not for them. And there are so many um, periphery careers, you know, there are careers in research, uh, there is careers in um, a medical management. So you may want to continue studying medicine, but not be a doctor. So there are other opportunities out there for you. Okay, um, uh, we at Trio World Academy use a particular website called Bridge U. <clears throat> and Bridge U not only has a series of aptitude tests, but it will talk to you about career clusters and career uh, uh, paths. And also, once you put your preferences and grades and so on in, it will tell you the universities that would be ideal uh, for you. So this is um, uh, some of the technology that we use at Trio World Academy. Um, in the course of your stay here, you will also meet with a lot of professionals, professors, um, people who will come to school to conduct workshops uh, and let you know, um, you know, what are the things that are happening in the world right now that could be opportunities for your future. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, what are some of the things you need to keep in mind once you do start the program? And I quote Mr. Isaac when I say repeatedly, we hear this from him every year on the first day of school, stay focused, stay organized and listen to instructions, okay? Get involved in school activities, not only ECAs, but we have school leadership programs, we have involvement in the community, so get 
involved in these programs. Um, when you go out to university, people are not only going to be interested in your grades, they're going to be interested in the person you are. That whole, you know, that holistic um, person, the, the whole of you, you know, what your interests are, what your passions are, what you've been working on, all right? So um, these are all things uh, that you need to do to get into the mindset of a high school student. Um, one thing that we insist on in, in uh, Trio World Academy, of course, is to follow school rules. Uh, they are there for your safety and well-being, and um, this is one of the last things that we insist on. Okay, so what are some of the subjects made available to you when you come into grade nine? So the IGCSE curriculum offers a wide range of subjects, but the subjects we offer here at Trio World Academy, first of all, are the compulsory subjects. So uh, you could do English language or ESL. ESL is basically offered to students who are not very fluent in English. It is English for speakers of a second language, all right, as a second language. Uh, you also offer English literature and mathematics. These are three compulsory subjects that you need to do. Now, what are the optional subjects that you could choose at Trio World Academy? First of all, there is MFL, which is Modern Foreign Language. And at Trio, you have a choice of taking French, Spanish, or Hindi. All right. So um, these are three um, languages that are timetabled against each other. So you could only take one of them. All right. Uh, we have art, PE, ICT, or global perspectives, right? You have biology, business studies, or computer science. These are specifically, you take one out of each group because these subjects are timetabled against each other, right? You could choose physics or econ economics or history or chemistry. Now, we highly recommend that all students study eight subjects, all right? Why is this? Because it is an optimal number. If you take more than eight subjects, you tend to become very overburdened. And at the time of the exams, we have seen students uh, becoming very stressed because of the amount they have to study. You take fewer than these subjects and you may not have a full uh, range of topics that will carry you into um, higher secondary school, which is grade um, um, 11 and 12. So please do think about what subjects you would like to take and make sure that you have a good balance between um, your science and humanities and of course, uh, you know, the, the, the um, um, uh, um, <laughs> sorry, I need to take a drink of water. Uh, the design program, the art, um, and uh, subjects that involve kinesthetic um, activity, okay? Working with your hands. I'm sorry, that was a little brain glitch. It happens from time to time. I'm getting old like the rest of us over here. Okay, so, <laughs> okay. Um, while you um, uh, are aware now of the subjects, um, uh, if you are taking math or English or any subject in the IGCSC program, you also have the opportunity or the possibility of taking it either in the core or extended uh, group. Now, this means that if you um, are not very confident in the subject and you want a slightly less uh, challenging paper, you can take the core subject, all right? Now, what does a core curriculum mean? This means that your paper is not very difficult, but at the same time, the highest grade that you can score is a C or a D, E, F, or G, okay? So you cannot score higher than a C if you take the core curriculum. That means it's a slightly easier paper. However, we recommend that all our students, if they are doing well, they take the extended paper 
and they have the opportunity to start uh, to score anything from an A star um, across the range of grades. Now, what do, does a grade mean? Okay, so basically in the IGCSE program, uh, your grades are given a, uh, your, your score is described through a grade. So if you uh, score an A star, it means that you are scoring between 90 and 100% in that particular subject, right? On the other end of the scale, if you have a U, a U means it is ungraded and that you are scoring between zero and 19%, okay? So uh, that is the scale. So A star is between 90 and 100. And A means that you have scored between 80 and 89 and so on, you get the drift, right? Uh, what about assessments? So assessments uh, during this two-year program, there will be three internal assessments, one at the end of every term. So a typical term at TRIO is we begin in August and December will be end of the first term where you will have an internal exam, which is set by your teachers. The end of the second term will be in May of the following year, um, followed by a third internal assessment in grade 10, the end of the first term in grade 10. Um, in the second term in grade 10, you will be doing a mock examination, once again, which is set by your teachers. And then finally, the IGCSE examinations, which normally take place in May and June. Right. Um, let's talk a little bit about the ICE qualifications. Now, um, we like to look at education as a pyramid, and you need to have a very, very broad base at the bottom. This is a strong foundation. And then moving up the pyramid, you learn to uh, narrow down your choices till the point that you are a expert or a professional in a particular field. So since you are still quite low down on the pyramid, it is very important for you to ensure that you have enough uh, knowledge and information across the um, disciplines. So the ICE qualifications is a program organized by Cambridge to ensure and to award qualifications to students who have um, subjects who choose and study subjects across the various groups. The first group, of course, is languages. And that you, not only are you studying English language, but you also study either French, Spanish, or Hindi. Uh, the humanities, okay, the humanities, of course, we have history, economics, um, um, uh, and the other uh, business management, the sciences we offer, um, uh, physics, uh, chemistry, biology, and of course, computer science. Uh, mathematics is a group all by itself. And of course, the creative and vocational um, uh, topics such as ICT, PE, and a visual art. So we, reckon, we recommend uh, to have a strong base uh, for your education that you take one from each of these groups. Right? Students who uh, can uh, aim for getting a distinction pass in the Cambridge ICE program means that they need to get a grade A or better in a minimum of five subjects and a grade C or better in at least two subjects. Right? Now, a distinction pass holds a lot of weight, especially when you are applying for university. It shows that you have been a strong student with a very, very good foundation, starting from, uh, you know, middle and high school. Um, uh, a merit pass at the uh, ICE qualification means a grade C or better in five subjects with a grade F or better in two subjects. And to pass with ICE qualifications means that you have got a grade G or better in at least seven subjects. 
as I mentioned, having these ICE qualifications um, uh, really gives uh, a student an advantage when they are applying to those excellent Ivy League or uh, Russell Group universities. I'm sure you have a lot of questions about this and we are standing by. So please remember to post your comments and your questions um, uh, you know, while you are listening to this. Uh, let's move on. So the IGCSE curriculum is offered at Trio World Academy uh, for grades nine and 10. The assessment that they do is the board exam that most Indian children do at grade 10. Um, what does a child do after the IGCSE curriculum? Well, anything that they want to really. Uh, they could follow on with their AS and A levels. Uh, they could continue with the DP program or switch back to the CBSC and ICSC curriculum, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the PUC, what we offer in India. However, I do highly recommend, we recommend here at Trail World Academy that if a child has been studying um, in the, an international curriculum that they continue to do so at grade 11 and 12. Uh, there is a continuum that is followed. Uh, there is a style of learning. There is a way in which knowledge is imparted. And when we switch between the international and Indian curriculum, there is an adjustment period. And sometimes children take a lot of time to get used to this adjustment. All right, so we highly recommend that after uh, uh, grade 10, after doing the IGCSC curriculum at grade 10, the children follow up with the IB or AS and A level program. Okay, now why am I mentioning the IB program here is because at Trio World Academy for grade 11 and 12, we do offer the IBDP program. Now I have some uh, uh, information over here. And since uh, we are also running out of time, I need to be timely here. I would recommend that you visit the websites. Uh, you can learn more about the Cambridge IGCSC program at www.cambridgeinternational.org and of course you can learn a lot more about the IBO, IBDP program at ibo.org. The issue is that they are both inquiry-based curriculums and um, a child who has done the IGCSC at grade 10 slips in very, very nicely into the DP program. Okay, so um, that brings us to the end of uh, the uh, curriculum. I'm just going to talk a little bit to parents right out there right now. I like this, uh, the face this lady is making, like, ooh, you know. Ooh. <laughs> this is usually what uh, the reaction is when uh, you talk to parents about uh, the subjects, the curriculum, and specifically about, you know, um, distance learning today. Uh, it's a new challenge that we're all facing. And uh, like I said, at TRIO, we work very, very closely with our partners, with the parents, to ensure that the children get the best possible opportunity. So um, something that we like to tell parents about remote learning, this is, you know, this has been happening for the past year and it looks like it's going to go on for a little bit more. So build a routine, uh, you know, for your child, ensure that they have a nice place to work, a desk that is quiet, that is away from all, you know, the regular household noise, be consistent in time and structure. Uh, don't worry about finishing everything, you know. Uh, learning at home is very, very different from learning at school. And, um, you know, give your child the freedom to plan their own studies, but make sure that it is supervised. Pace yourself, let students work at their own pace, and uh, you supervise at your pace, okay? Don't try to accomplish everything in one day. Um, Enjoy your time together. Take lots of breaks, okay? Um, 
it's wonderful that people, parents and children have this opportunity to spend time together. I personally learned a lot about my kids um, during this time because we're forced to get, you know, to spend time together. So watch that movie, have a discussion, cook a meal together, uh, go out and climb a hill. Okay, but take that break. It's not all about work. It's not all about studies. And as I said, enjoy this time together. So that brings us to the end of our session we go with you today. I hope I have kept to my time. Right? Okay, so um, really we have no questions. We have no comments. I'm very disappointed. Right. Uh, I brought Mr. Isaac here all the way from his home so that we can, um, you know, answer questions. But if there are no further questions, um, then thank you very, very much for uh, coming in today to listening to me. I hope that uh, you now have a lot more information, not only about our wonderful school, but about this curriculum that we are teaching. So. Any questions? Last chance for questions? Any comments? Okay. Well then, thank you very much for attending and goodbye and have a great weekend.